Good day, everyone. Transformation from a cosmic spiritual perspective means to go beyond the present form. And as always, when we speak of transformation, we look at it from a spiritual perspective. And so we talk about spiritual transformation. The work of spiritual transformation begins with a thought. Whatever vibration the spirit assumes is actually the vibration of a thought or the vibration of a belief system. Belief system refers to many thoughts coming together that are aligned or in accordance with each other. That's what forms a belief system. We sense or feel the vibration of individuals around us. We sense or feel the vibration of anger. We sense or feel the vibration of love. We sense or feel the vibration of acceptance when we step into a room and we sense or feel the vibration of someone's pensive mood. It is also possible for us to sense or feel the vibration of individuals who have fully empowered themselves with the use of knowledge by the internalization of this knowledge and the practicing of this knowledge. We can feel the weight of that individual, feel like that person is of substance. So, the focus for transformation has to be thought. It can't be anything else. What am I thinking? What am I thinking is equivalent to saying, what is my vibrational frequency. Some of us have the misunderstanding that Jesus will be returning for us. We're looking forward to the return of Jesus. It is not Jesus who will be returning. Jesus did not promise us that. Jesus promised that the Christ will return. And the Christ is the thought process that Jesus first embraced for himself and delivered to those who would listen to him. The Christ is that thought process that changed our vibration to that which is suitable for the liberation from this dimension. The Christ is in and of itself, a thought process. It has its own vibration. And the vibration is not the same as the religious self-consciousness thought process. It is out of phase with that thought process. And therefore, it is able to provide us with that vibrational frequency to liberate us from this dimension. In the Gospel of Thomas, and we're looking at number 108, the following is said to be a saying of Jesus. The person who drinks from my mouth will become like me, and I myself will become that person. And all the things that are hidden will be revealed to that person. It is not possible for us to become Jesus. Neither is it possible for Jesus to become us, as in reference to the physical person. But we can become an individual's thought process. And in becoming that person's thought process, we identify ourselves with that individual. Jesus constantly emphasized the word he spoke as being life. 
Jesus at no point in time referred to his death, burial, and resurrection as life. In an upcoming series entitled Unfolding the Missing Peace in the Spirituality Puzzle, it will be made known to you where the belief came from in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus as being life. And in that series, we'll also point out at what point in history Jesus was considered king. Now, in another of Jesus' saying, as we have in the Gospel of Thomas, he said, I took my position in the world in a physical form, and I found no one thirsty for what I have to offer. Jesus had difficulty finding or identifying those who were ready to embrace what he had to give. And what he had to give wasn't his life. What he had to give was the word, his thought process. And Jesus knew that what he had to give should not be given to those who were not ready to receive it because the cosmological principle does not support any conscious unit of energy vibrating at two opposing vibrational frequency at the same time. I will repeat, the cosmological principle does not support any conscious unit of energy or individual vibrating at two opposing vibrational frequency at the same time. I like how it is emphasized in the Gospel of Thomas. You know, this point is so is made clear in so many aspects. It was just emphasized and re-emphasized. And we're going to be looking at number 47 in the Gospel of Thomas. Again, it is said that Jesus says, It is impossible for anyone to mount two horses or bend two bows at the same time. You cannot serve two masters without honoring one and offending the other. You do not drink aged wine and immediately ask to drink new wine. New wine is not poured into aged wine skin without destroying the wine skin. And aged wine is not poured into new skin, wine skin, without the wine becoming spoiled. An old patch is not sown to a new garment without a resultant tear. All of these statements is pointing to the fact that the cosmological principle does not support any conscious unit of energy vibrating at two opposing vibrational frequency at the same time without there being some destruction, depression, or disease. Very often we try to uphold this similar thought within ourselves. But when we do this, we are actually doing a self-destructive act we are supposed to ensure that our mind is single. You're not supposed to be swaying between two points where belief system is concerned. That zone of transition is not one within in which the spirit being can function for any appreciable time. It is a self-destructive act to try to go between 
two different belief system at the same time. You must be single in whatever you believe. When you get to that point where you need to let go of the religious self-consciousness, let it go. This is what Jesus came and what he told everyone. Let it go. Become transformed. Seek to vibrate at that state called self-governance, where you have come to recognize that the kingdom of heaven is within you. You must become that law that is within you. You are an adult spirit being. Begin to lead your life according to reason and responsibility. We know that this is a time of awakening. But we need to be awakened to more than the actions of the forces of darkness. Being awakened to the action of the forces of darkness will not save you. It is important to know because when we see what's happening around us, we know what time we are living in as per the cosmological cycle. We know we are coming to the end of another cycle in the lower realm. And we know that it's time to make preparation. But if we focus only on the actions of darkness, the rulers of darkness in the lower realm, and do not try to bring ourselves to that vibrational frequency that will dispel us or expel us from this realm, we are not fully awakened. You are your own salvation. Your salvation lies in your vibration. Change what you think. You are an adult spirit being. Become transformed. Have a good day.